and gentlemen, welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. I know I say this every week, but I'm running really, really late because I had to go to class for my dealership. And I, then I had to run straight here. We've got TK from TK's Garage. Don't forget the giveaway. Yeah, the free car giveaway, the 2019 Malibu. Totally free car. <laughs> 2002 Chevy Malibu, totally free car. But you got to sub to his channel, my channel. You got to comment on the videos relating to the giveaway. Really, it's that simple. Now, I'm gonna jump into this. We're gonna get through these real quick today. I, I say that every week, but I'm very serious today. We're gonna get through these very quickly and, and, and then we're gonna move on. So number one on my list is a 2018 Chevy Silverado. This is the Duramax and it, of course it has the Allison transmission behind it. This is the good one. Not, it's not the 3.0. I was about to say, did this one blow up? It's not the 3.0 Duramax. This is the good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's got very light damage to the <laughs> oh wait no it's folded up never mind the rear end's all smashed uh, oh the yeah wheels. it's got a it's got an independent rear steering system <laughs> oh wow <laughs> i didn't re i didn't look through all the pictures i didn't know it was this bad i just saw the front pictures oh, i want the motor from my top though oh man this has got that's what, six six yeah, it's a, it should be a 6.6. Six, six. I think I think they're still doing 6.6. Six, six. Look at that. I'd be scared to be around these springs because they're a little on the folded up side. What if the shock came apart? The bed, of course, into the cab. Like, this thing is done. It's done, but it still has a good power plant. I believe it's listed as a start. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't say anything. It just has a uh, it has an L for lose. For hold this. Go! Oh! Wow, that fell out of the truck. It looks like it's a. Uh... It's in good shape. Yeah. We'll see if it'll start. I'm off the interior. Like, let me get the seats. <laughs> yeah, this interior is nice. The seats would bolt right into my Tahoe, man. Let's see if she fire up. Yeah. Yes. Twenty-six thousand miles. Well, twenty-seven thousand. The only light on is traction control. I imagine you're gonna have some stability problems with the uh, with the rear end being jacked up the way it is. This is the anti parallel truck. Golly, this thing is sitting like 10 feet off the ground. Oh. Oklahoma City, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, whoa, whoa. You almost your finger. Uh, hey, yeah, that door almost took my fingers. Oh. Well. This was my thing. I said it wanted to be asked to help you. I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if I can, uh, get in there. I don't even know where the, hold on, I got it. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's still 6.6. Six. That's a beautiful motor. Man, that's a beautiful motor. It sounds perfect. Emphasis on the purr. Yeah. This thing's gonna go for some money, though. How much? I, don't, I mean, this is what a forty. Well, it's an eighteen with thirty thousand. So what is probably about a thirty-six thousand dollar truck? If it wasn't wrecked, I mean, if it wasn't wrecked, it'd still be forty grand. I would guess that with the low miles and everything, this will probably go for like fourteen to sixteen thousand. That'd be my guess. All right, that's it. Moving on to the next one. Next on my list is a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. And she's, this is a rollover. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the windshield is cracked. So there's damage up top, fiberglass damage up here. Obviously the hood damage. This is your fender, it's damaged. I guarantee you. Like on the, that's a starter? Like yeah. Look at the rot on the friggin' components. This must be a Northern car or a Northern truck. Yeah, it's got a lot of rust. That's crazy. I actually don't know what that is. I have no idea what that goes to. Like oh, that's that goes to the steering shaft. That's the gearbox. <laughs> yeah, that's the steering gearbox. Yeah, it looks like a starter. It does. Look at that. It looks like a starter. That that's actually the steering gearbox. Huh. Interesting. Ninety-nine thousand miles. Or no, that's I was gonna. Oh no, no nine thousand. Not yeah. I read that wrong. Wow. I'm getting too much over. He has like ninety-nine thousand miles on a seventeen. <laughs> Must have been a run of flowers on the back. Oh. Man, and they, they padlocked. I hope you got the keys to the padlock to get your jack off the back. Yeah, this thing is, it's tore up everywhere. This side's not nearly as bad. It looks more like instead of a rollover, maybe just, well, yeah, maybe, maybe just roll you know what, all over. You yeah, have a yeah, guy that'll look. buy this and cut it all out. You know what I'm saying? It, oh man, it's oh. fresh. 
That's fresh. Is that, is that shit? No, it's dirt. It better be dirt. It's did, got grass in did, it. Did but you smell it? <laughs> no, it's dirt. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> See what the interior looks like on this bad boy. Oh, it's a stick shift too. I'm just going to wipe it on the floor mat. It's not going to hurt anything. It's, it's just dirt. It's literally not going to hurt nothing. Besides, look at all the hair and spilt stuff in here anyway. This one, there's somebody, it looks, there's a spot on the seat where your crack goes. Somebody shit themselves. Like, like literally right where your crack goes right well, here. There's some. Somebody, uh, somebody let loose when it rolled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I'm ha I have second thoughts on that. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I've sat in some dirty cars. But when it's right at the crack like that, I, I'm not sitting in that. <laughs> that one's not one I'm going to sit in. The rest of it looks, you know. It looks all right. I bet it start up. The lights are on inside. It's got power. It's a stick shift. This would be a fun toy. Honestly, when it comes to a Jeep like this, I would buy one of these wreck like this, and I would just have. I would have fun with it. Yeah. I would play with it. I would, not, I would not. I would not. I would not fix it as long as you got lights and it's legal. Yeah. You know, your tires, brakes, suspension works, signals, lights, and as long as all that stuff works. I mean, if it's missing a window, I'd put a window in it, put a mirror on it. But trail truck. this is a toy, so I don't. I don't understand why people buy them. They smash them. And then they total them. Like, you knew you were going to smash it. You knew you were going to tear it up. You bought it to play with, right? Yep. So, for me, I would buy one of these. I'd just have fun with it. Take it off-road, have a good time, and uh, call it a day. Next, we got a 2011 Infiniti QX56. This, yeah. This, we'll start with, like, a walker. Look how big these rims are. What size are these? Like, 20, 22s, 24s? These are 22s, and they're factory. That thing is massive. These are not cheap SUVs, guys. Like, even, even when they have high miles, I believe this one has about 200K on it. These are not cheap SUVs. We'll do a quick walk around. Then we'll take a look at the interior. I mean, I, I, I love it. It's, it's such a massive SUV. Insane. The rims are 22s. 22s from the factory. But look at this. Look at this. I'm not even going to get in. I'm not touching this. One. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not touching this one. I'm going to be a little more cautious about what I put money into, man, because uh, getting ready to try to open up a dealership. And I want to make sure, number one, I've got decent cars for people. And number two, I mean, I just I just don't want to mess with stuff like this. I got to start looking at trying to make a profit. <laughs> I got to try to make a profit on some of these cars. You know, you, we, what, how do you run a dealership and lose money on all your cars? That's, that's yeah, I, don't, I don't mind doing that you know sometimes but i can't do it like on the level i'm doing it now this is supposed to have 200,000 miles on it i don't this uh is this an insurance car i don't really understand why this car is here i mean other than it's 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 disgusting it's nasty and it could be clean maybe maybe the insurance company opened the door and said nah total i don't understand though this is a this is a farmer's insurance car it's got this it's got the tag on the windshield telling you it's farmers so but i don't see any uh i don't see any body damage that would make this total other than the interior yep. the interior is just i mean i'm sure i could send it to detail and somebody could fix it up make it look better but my goodness I don't know. Ow! Did you cut? Somebody put a damn, watch your finger, somebody put one of those worm clamps right with there. the damn Ooh. sharp edges sticking up so that when you try to take off the radiator cap, it cuts you. you pop your finger. Oh! <laughs> that was dirty. Oh! There's nothing in there. Nothing. It's got a new radiator cap too. So we were having cooling system issues. Yeah somebody was trying to fix it so like that right there and, and i'm gonna be very careful putting this back on Don't cut yourself again. Yeah. yeah yeah that's it we're done yeah. next we got a 2008 nissan titan yeah with 63,000 miles this is one that i think would be perfect for just using as a work truck i know i say that about a lot of trucks but look at this bumper all right so obviously it got pushed in most likely more more likely than not 
there's going to be frame damage right here that's not so bad you can actually fix that i i know a guy <laughs> i know a guy who knows a guy that can they can fix that relatively easy um but really you could drive it like this you may not ever get your spare tire out look the tailgate still tailgate still works oh it's soft open too soft open, yeah. how about that and look, looks oh. like they had a fifth wheel. Wow. Like, like hammered in there at some And point. it ripped it out. Yep. So whatever happened here with this accident, uh, it was enough to pull the fifth wheel, the fifth wheel rails. At least that'd be my guess. Yep. That's unless what it looks took, like. Unless somebody stole them and took them out. Golly. Damn. Oh, uh, the chains are still... Chains it's still, there, yeah. still got the chains or something. <laughs> Yeah, it took a little bit of damage. I mean, it's got really good looking tires. What are they? All terrain. They're just terrainer. Trail finder. Okay. I don't know. So they didn't spend good money. Oh, whoa. What the hell happened here? What is, they had a dog. Oh, yeah. There's dog for everywhere. Their dog ate the truck. Like tore up the seat. Like ate the truck. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I love my dog. I really do, but <laughs> yeah, eating my car is a good way to find another home. <laughs> yeah, this this one I was gonna say this is not that bad, but it it's <laughs> this one's pretty bad. Let's see, I bet it starts up though. These things are just tough. They get they make good motors. There you go. Started right up, man. No airbag light either, so the seatbelt survived. I don't know what all this is. All the upper console stuff has been ripped out. It's gone. All of it. It's like someone someone took it before the truck went to auction or something. Let's see if I can find the uh, the hood release. Where's the hood release? They had a CB radio in here too. There's the hood release. Man, she's running good. Come over to that exhaust. Oh man, look at that. Smooth. Yeah, if you notice, I'm spending just a few more minutes on this one than I have the other ones. Looks like it's been in a front end collision before. You can see the gaps up here are really tight and the gaps down here you can fit your whole damn your whole knuckles and everything in there damage right here as well with some rust that's probably why they ended up putting a push bar on the front of it corroded battery i don't see any leaks though no, honestly this thing looks pretty rough for 69,000 miles oh, yeah. well you know they were told they had a fit for one yeah yeah, I mean, I'm sure this thing still has some life in it, but for me, this is just, uh... That looks super cheap. Yeah. I mean, if it went for 500 bucks, I'd buy it in a heartbeat, but it'll never go for 500 It's a Nissan. It's a Nissan. This thing's not going to go for $500. I don't know. We'll keep our eye on it, see what it goes for. Next, the only car that I don't have on the Panther platform is a Lincoln Town car. And here it is, man. It's a donation... I have no doubts. I, I guarantee you this car will just go. You could get in it and drive cross country. I mean, like, I, I guarantee you. What is this, an 07? It's got 77,000 miles on the clock. Continental tires with brand new tread all the way around. Look at that. I guess the, the truth would come out in the code of the tires, the date code on the tires, because obviously you don't put tires on a car you don't drive anymore. The date code is 17th month, or 17th week, 17th month, yeah, 17th week of 2017. So you're looking at about mid-2017, somebody put a brand new set of Continental tires on this thing. These are True Contact Eco Plus, 77K on the odometer, like I said. Little, little moldy, mildewy, really, you know, on the top. That stuff will clean off with some good cleaner and a soft bristle brush. The car is absolutely, I mean, it's, it looks flawless, really, other, other than needing some cleaning, like the body, the paint, a few light scratches here and there, nothing too major. Look at this. You got the heated mirrors. It's got a little ding right here. It's sitting at $2,050. 
right now and i don't know i don't know i have no use for this this is not a car that i would keep like i've already got the grand marquee i've got the crown vic but it's like this would just complete the panther collection before i turn around and sell it <laughs> all the panthers we've got three sets of keys you got one there it's weird that these are in the door instead of wrapped around the steering wheel but there's two sets and you even have a, a valet key for it, which I thought was really cool. I've never seen the valet key for a Lincoln. Fire it up for you guys real quick. I'm not gonna lie, I know it runs. <laughs> I, I did cheat. You sit in this car and you fall into it. Like, it's almost like falling in love when you sit in this car, I'm not even kidding. Look at that. Oh man. That's just phenomenal. Do we have any check lights? I don't remember. No. We have no check engine lights, no warning lights, nothing. Other than I just popped the trunk. There's a glove box. You got your big old armrest right here, man. It's not even broken. These are usually broken. Not broken. You got your gold clock. Just give her a little rev. Sounds good. The, oh, put that key back down there before it falls. The important window works. You got like a little cubby hole right here too. Look at that. This is a beautiful car. Beautiful car. This is a donation. That's why I swear that, you know, most likely everything on this car is A-OK. -okay. Big old trunk. Watch, it's a soft closed trunk too. Let me show you what I mean by that. You, you could really put it down with like a finger, get it down here and it just it closes itself it's motorized and i think we'll pop the hood real quick here we go show you guys under the hood now the one thing that i don't like about it i have to run a carfax report on it just to verify the miles oh. but the engine is absolutely oh. it's bad filthy filthy oh. like look at this that to me looks like way more Ooh. yeah Ooh. way more than 77,000 miles but i don't know we'll run a carfax on it when i get to the house and see what carfax says now this is perfectly clean no residue you see the camshaft down in there spinning in the center of your screen I mean, it does look good. Coolant looks good. Everything looks good. It's just the engine is dirty, but you know, they may have lived down a dirt road since this car was brought home brand new, you know, and it's just never been cleaned up. I like it, man. Moving on to the next one. Next on my list is another BMW 325XI. I don't know, man. <laughs> Do I really need another one? No, but this one is in so much better shape. And this is, uh, this has less miles. This only has 199,000 miles on it. Isn't this a sport bumper? It is. It's, it's, not, it's not the M4. Or the winter package yeah, or something? and it's got the, the HIDs. Yeah. I don't think the hood is... No, the hood is... I think it's still shut on that side. It looks like this side didn't latch. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I'll tell you a little story about this car. I've already researched this one because I was going to buy it last week. Uh -huh. um, this car, uh, using AutoAuctions.io, shameless plug here for <laughs> AutoAuctions.io. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I am dead serious. I really was thinking about buying this car, and, and I'm just not now. But I'm going to show it to you anyway to kind of show you why you can use AutoAuctions.io to really help you. So I saw this car last week when I was actually looking at the, the Mazda Millennia S and I knew that this one was coming up and I was like, I'm buying this. This one's gonna be mine because I wanted another one that was in much better condition. And looking at it, and don't look under the hood. Under the hood, it's questionable. Less miles, the paint is here, which is something my car doesn't have. Right. The seats are in better shape. Door cards are complete. The door panels don't fall off when you open the doors. And I was like, okay. You know, I'm, I'm gonna buy this because I really love that other car. I just wanted one in a little bit nicer shape. Well, here's the deal. I pulled up autoauctions.io. This mileage right here that it currently has, 194, 493, it had this two years ago when it was sold to Copart in Texas. 
same uh -huh. mileage hasn't moved this car is not driving <laughs> so it says to run a dry you may it may fire up and and it may move forward and backward but there's obviously something or well, the odometer doesn't work or the odometer doesn't work but there's something that has kept this mileage and take a look the the i didn't notice this last time it's little details you got the little sticker you see the old time. sticker it's still there two years ago that sticker is still there wow. so this car has not moved so i don't know if they just moved copart lots to try to flip it yeah you know it didn't sell down there so they brought it up here hoping to flip it but this car has been sitting for two years so i guarantee the odometer works right it it just literally it has not moved it's in two years and all the fluids are shot you know, the, gas, the gas i mean it says up. it's a run and drive but we could fire it up it's got a lot of this thing's got a lot of leaks man a lot of leaks. leaks all the way around the gasket. This leaks. thing is leaking everywhere. Power but steering things leaking. I, guess. I, I say it's worth firing up. Let's fire it up. I, I, I did not try to start it. Uh -oh. I did not try to start it. So we have not ever attempted to start this one. I guarantee you this battery is shot. And this is not a salvage car. I don't think. Or yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is salvage, but I couldn't find any damage. Oh, dude, it came right on. Uh -oh. Really? Ooh. Uh -uh. It's just a bad spark plug, man. <laughs> it just it just needs a spark plug. This is a spark plug. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be. Could be. It could be something else too. I, I don't know. <laughs> it has that same little <laughs> valve cap which is known. Which yeah. Is uh, it's a 325, so it's a 2.5, right? Yeah, it might be. It goes into gear. This may be the one that I checked the coolant and there was no coolant in it. It's got a, it's got a dead miss on one cylinder. You can hear it. So, I mean, it could be... Something as simple as changing a spark plug, you know, yep. or well, changing a coil pack. pack. Yeah. And they're 20 bucks. You know, they're simple pull and plug and play. Or you could it could be something. If I remember right, when we checked the coolant in this last time, Didn't have it any. was dead empty. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, wow. And that is what had me concerned. Oh, there's some, if you look down, there's some water in there. Like, look at your camera and look at the zoom. You'll see, but it's not, it's definitely super low. Mate, I don't remember if I checked the oil or not. So we're going to go into, we're uh, going to do that now. I drive. No, this is a dipstick right here. Yeah, this doesn't have I drive. What is this, 03? 03. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks all right there. Yeah, they like to be stuck in there. Woo! Not healthy. No. Oh, uh, wait. How full is that? Is that all the way up here? Yep, it's overfilled. Then that's not just overfilled. That's coolant. Oh. That would have been why I didn't buy it. Anytime you pull the dipstick out and you see it like way overfilled like that, it looks like oil. Right. But it's not. I it's guarantee cool. you, you let it sit, drain the oil out of it, and it's going to pour water out of the bottom of it. So I would say this one's got some kind of a head gasket failure. And now I remember. I'm, I mean, I must have checked some of this stuff last time. Because I, I marked it off. I said, no, I'm not going to mess with it. And I didn't even start it. Uh, I wasn't even trying to start it last time. Is it puffed and white? No, but it may not have coolant. It's not enough coolant. It's yeah. already been processed through. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, there's just a little heads up on what you can look for. You know, when you go out and look at some of these cars, you know, they may look like they're good to go. And they may be run and drive, but... No, and it looks like there's one of those total lace stickers. They used to be on the windshield too. Whew. Oh man. That's a wrap. Now I showed you this last week, but I'm and I'm not gonna go over too much about it, but I am gonna tell you I won it last week for six hundred and fifty dollars. And after fees, you're, you're talking a grand or, or so, probably at least a grand after fees. Then you got to tag and title it, which is going to cost more. Um, so I, st I stood firm at $650. This is the Millennia S. This is one that has the Miller Cycle engine. It's supercharged. So many of you did not know that this was a supercharged car. Only the ones that had the S. 
at the end was supercharged. They're great cars. They're fun cars. They're known to be problematic cars, but they're a blast to drive. It's low miles, 126,000 on the clock. It runs, it drives. It's a non-interference timing belt motor. So if you pop a timing belt, no big deal. You just put another belt on it this is and nice motor car. down the road you go. It's not super powerful, even though it's supercharged. It's not super powerful, but she fires up, man. Check engine light is on, don't know why. You're not allowed to bring diagnostic equipment with you. And I'm not gonna violate any rules, but you know, I figure to me, it's worth $650. If I can get it again this week at 650, we'll bring it home. Um, but they wanted a thousand for it. And, and when you're talking a thousand, this is an old car, you're talking about a thousand dollars plus fees you're probably looking at 14 1500 out the door tagging and title and excise tax and everything like at that time that, that, by that point you're pushing two grand it's not worth much. it i can't take a risk like that on hey, on something like this look at these cool quirks and features yeah <laughs> <laughs> doug demero reference yeah. Got little pockets over here, and yes, the important window work. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this car because we already did it once, but you can rev it up and it's like. Hear that supercharger? No, that's not a power steering wine on this one. That's a supercharger wine. Yeah, I think this is a good car. Um You'd have but a blast with this too. My concern is transmission issues on these older Mazdas. Uh, and the check engine lights on it could be for an oxygen sensor it could be for a uh, shift solenoid it could be for you know third gear slipping i don't know so i can't pay two thousand dollars you know all in for something this old that just isn't it's not going to get the, it's gonna, not going to get enough video views to make it really worthwhile it's an interesting car right. but not enough views and it's not going to sell for enough once i get it down to the lot anyway no. so if we can get it cheap enough we'll get it and if not then you know we won't but moving on to the next one all right ladies and gentlemen that's going to be it for this copart walk around i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give the video a big thumbs up if you didn't give the video a big thumbs down don't hesitate to give it a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it i'm perfectly fine with it big shout out thank you to tk from tk's garage for coming out here and doing this with me because it's like freezing you know what cold out here today uh comment below subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed don't forget about the car giveaway if you're, if you're interested in the free car giveaway you got to go over to tk's garage subscribe to his channel subscribe to my channel leave a comment on his video and on my video you know any comment you can even just say comment but you got to leave a, a comment on each of our videos relating directly to the car giveaway you'll see the title says giveaway you can't miss it so thank you again tk i'm gonna get out of here guys until next time stay safe out there we'll catch you very soon in the next one but wait before we go i'm pulling a watch jr go and i'm going to add more stuff to the end of the video tk found this sitting over here and he's like look look it's on hydraulics and i looked over and i was like but the wheels aren't on the ground that's not how that's not hydraulics and he said wait wait he said no the suspension fell up underneath it and is holding it up i don't know how wrecked this is but i'm if the suspension is holding it up underneath the truck oh wow oh wow this is funny we shouldn't even be standing next to this, I don't think. Yeah, that really <laughs> gives out <huge. laughs> Yeah, this Rock. thing could like fall at any minute. What's it? Yeah, and it's on some probably cheap 22s. Look at that. Hold it's on. Let's scoot by. Look at that. Look at that. It, the whole rear end is held up by that by one that rim. rim. Yeah. You know I, when the it happened when they dropped it on the forklift that it just felt like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it just landed that way. You said there's a system in here? Yeah, look at the speaker. Let me get back. away from this side. I, needed this. I didn't look and see if it was... Chrome tailpipe, too. If it was a door. <laughs> oh, know. and the chrome strips yep. down the side and the, the fake, you Where know... You know I, I don't even know if the V6 badge is real. I, I don't think... <laughs> the V6 might be. Look, it says Super chrome. Pro Box. Oh, look. There's the uh, amp. Wow. Which is made they by... cut all the wires, though. Yeah. Look at all the cut wires. Damn. And, yeah, that's a... Golly, what is that? An 18? That's that's big or is that that's a 15. Yeah. That's a 15. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been into systems. It's been a while since I was 17. Hey, look, the wheels are still spinning. <laughs> Car ain't rolling. The wheels are still spinning. <laughs> what are these? Uh 24s. Jesus. Someone yes, in a Ford Escape. Okay. Hey, you? man, whatever. Okay. I'd expect a Suburban or a Tahoe, yeah. but a Ford Escape. Whatever floats your boat, man. Now the video's over.